out on my own stream. God damn it. I gotta wait for the. There it goes. Okay. All right. So before I begin, uh, there's some things I want to go over in this because setting up the stream was kind of a bitch. Uh, the main reason why I didn't stream yesterday was because it was such a bitch to deal with. Um, before I do that, I want to mention I am a little disoriented today because my sleep got a little fucked up because there's some weird ass fucking buzzing sound outside that kept waking me up for four fucking hours straight. And that kind of sucked. Um, so yeah, didn't get the proper sleep. Anyways, the game, I guess I don't have screen capture, so you didn't see what I was showing. Uh, the game has some issues right now. I normally have this not hidden taskbar down here, uh, usually up like normal. Now it has to be hidden in order to capture the game properly because I have to run it in window, uh, which is why there's the specific, uh, stalker capture here. I could capture with screen capture or with the window. To capture the window, I had to hit control, delete, then open task manager. That way the window is still up because every time I alt tabbed out, it would minimize the damn game. So OBS wasn't able to capture it because it was minimized and it can only capture active windows. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, this is the stuff I tried. So first... Let's go over the simple one. This game, just like previous ones in the series, has a lot of issues. I think I covered those in the streams of those games as well. Uh, so to start off, don't turn ambient occlusion to HB AO. Uh, set it to HD AO. It might not happen on NVIDIA. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm using a AMD Fury X still. So... Uh, when I had it on HBAO, the uh, shadows were all fucked up. So, like, the trees, uh, the shadows around the trees, I mean, they were just rings. Like, a ring of shadow. Just in some weird-ass pattern on the ground. Instead of a uh, proper shadow under the tree. Uh, so, just cause a little shadow bug by having HBAO. Fixes it by having HDAO. Although, I did notice that even if, if you want to ignore the shadow bug with HBAO on, you do have a lot higher frame rate. <laughs> because it's not doing the shadows, right? Um, uh, the next thing I had to try, because the game was failing to start up, I went over to the directory of the game, install, and I deleted the file user to LTX. Didn't really seem to do anything, so I didn't put it back. I just permanently deleted it. It didn't recreate it either. I can show that. So it didn't recreate the file. It was just sitting in here, just like FX game is. Uh, it does need FX or FS game, not FX. S FS game. So don't delete this. Uh, you can delete user.ltx if you want. It doesn't seem to really affect it. It might for multiplayer, but I think multiplayer on it's dead because it used GameSpy and GameSpy is dead. Um, yeah, so I even mentioned it won't recreate itself. But after dealing with that, I found that the uh, game was still failing to start up. So uh, that's what I'm going to have to run through on this. Yay. Do I have screen capture is five. Yeah. I don't know if hotkeys work in the game, so I'll have to disable screen capture. If the game fails to start up, I'll show me doing these steps down here. Um, basically, if the game fails to start, you want to open uh, Task Manager. I use Process Explorer instead of Task Manager. You can get it from Microsoft's site. I don't know if it works on uh, Windows 10 or not. It might. I just prefer over Task Manager. Uh, and... Right underneath the Steam tree, you'll find a process called xrengine.exe. And you won't be able to relaunch the game until you close that process. If the game fails to start up. But basically, if the game fails to start up, you want to close that process, kill it, whatever. Then try launching the game again. Eventually, the game will start like it's supposed to. I don't know why it starts sometimes and why it doesn't. There's 
no logic or reason to it. It just decides it works when it works. So let's go ahead and disable screen capture since I got stalker capture. Running window capture. And let's give it a shot. Oh, okay, it's working this time. So if the game crashes during streaming, then that'll kind of suck. Because then I might have to deal with that issue. And it's not a conflict with OBS. Oh, for fuck's sake, there. Yeah, it's not a conflict with OBS either. Um, I did test uh, without OBS running and it just didn't work. So because it's using window capture, it's not filling out the entire screen. So you're going to see at the bottom and top there, try centering it a bit, but it's kind of a bitch because the snap distance is really big on OBS. So I was trying to move it up and down to center it a bit and it would misalign it left and right. Or so the horizontal snapping would be misaligned and cut off some of the screen. Uh, so I had to uh, snap it where it is. But the bit in the back you're seeing at the top and bottom is just the stuff you saw when I disabled screen capture. And I already have a game loaded, or uh, saved, I mean, it's just at the very start of the game. Oh, well, that's interesting. It takes a screenshot of the overlay in the game, too. I have the di overlay disabled right now. I'm gonna enable it soon. Um, but I'm just gonna load the game now. Uh, the save I made, because it's right after the intro cussing. And I don't feel like going through the intro cussing. Uh, basically, the intro cutscene. Uh, mentions some stuff about Strelik and the events from, I think it was the first game? The end of the first game? And it mentions some other stuff, but I haven't been paying attention to the story in any of these games, so I'm not gonna mention any of the story stuff. So I got lucky that it didn't crash. Uh, as for graphics settings... Uh, it is running 1440p, even though it's in windowed mode, but that's why I had to hide the uh, taskbar and tray. Uh, sound, I could probably turn this up one click if people ask, I can. Uh, it sounded alright, maybe a little quieter than my voice, which is fine because my voice needs to be heard over this game's sound. Um, I got this crap. Obviously difficulty, I always do easy stuff. Mouse sensitivity is freaking crazy. Uh, finding a proper level is really difficult to do. If you turn it up high, it seems there's a gap here where it just really it, it doubles or triples in its speed. I had to customize some of the controls, uh, like previous games. Uh, go back. Oh wait, I forgot to show advanced. And everything else is maxed out with the exception of... Uh, ambient occlusion. So that's on HDAO instead of HBAO. And I have uh, depth of field disabled and since I'm using 144 hertz, I'm not using vertical sync. I don't actually like vertical sync and I don't have frequency 60 hertz checked. All right. And the way I'm streaming it with OBS is actually reducing the frame rate by about half. So it runs really nice and smooth when I don't have OBS open. It was easily over 130, 140 frames, except when I was looking over that direction, it was up around 180. Oh yeah, inventory and all that is also different again. Uh, there is still a 50 kilogram weight limit. And weapons seem to degrade a lot faster. When I was doing audio tests, I was shooting my gun off at random. And there's also a lot more kick to the gun. At least the one I'm using here. And the pistol sucks again. So this game might be a little bit of a pain in the ass to do. Come on, man. Put that weapon away. Uh, I do like the flashlight in this one. Uh, the light also seems to be a little bit faster. Less delay on its motion and it seems to cover a much larger area because it covers almost the entire screen now 
You can also see it's obviously coming from your dude's head since he's wearing the thing on his head uh, because it is hitting the gun. There are also enemies in this area. I, I realized that when I was running through here. And I'm not sure where I have to go exactly. It looks like I have to go down here. And you are playing as a different guy than you were in uh, the first game and second game. I don't know if you're going to see them or not in this one. It would be kind of interesting if you do. Uh, enemies, I saw two, and I don't remember what the one was that attacked me over in that area when I was doing some tests, but there was another enemy over where I'm heading. Oh yeah, and you can actually go through water in this game without dying. Uh, there was an enemy somewhere over that area. Uh, one of the ones that can turn invisible and attack. They're significantly different. Like, they look the same, but their behavior is different. It makes them more difficult to deal with. And just like the previous games, this game seems to have a bit of stutter. I think it's with loading because it doesn't really seem to happen a whole lot when I'm just standing around. But every once in a while, there will be uh, some sort of load stutter uh, when standing around. It looks like there's... I'm not sure who's bad over there. Okay, they're friendly. They're yellow. So over there... I don't know if a group died. I don't see any more gunshots. They're still acting like there's... Yeah, there is right there. Okay, they're both neutral. So I can run up there without getting attacked. As long as I don't fight. And actually, I forgot to... Uh, adjust the healing stuff. But I guess it tells you in the bottom left corner this time, so... I'll just use those. That's the biggest problem with the stalker. Well, other than the bugs in these games. The biggest problem is the amount of keys it uses. It's just like it really wants you to use the entire damn keyboard. Uh, which is problematic. Vodka, this is for radiation. I'll take that as emergency. Food, bandages, and a backup pistol. I should actually be using the pistol. thought they were attacking me for a sec. There's radiation nearby. There's no clicking. I still can't hear the damn game. I don't know if my keyboard is uh, managing to turn my computer up. I was thinking about taking the, fuck it, I'll take the shotgun. I couldn't decide on taking the shotgun. I guess this guy also has... There. What's this? This is for... It doesn't say what gun it's for. That, that's fucking nice. Good job. Okay, there is clicking. I couldn't hear it. Because my computer's too damn quiet. And I don't want to alt-tab out. I think I gotta do that. Me. I hope it doesn't fuck it all. Come on, give me my goddamn mouse there. Yeah, I wasn't turning it up when I was doing that. Now it's at 30. There we go. Now I can hear it. it says I'm irradiated. Don't know by how much though. Doesn't seem to be affecting me right now. I didn't look into reducing the wobble. I thought about it. I don't really like how much wobble is in the games, or in this series of games, I mean. It's pretty extreme. Oh, I didn't realize that. The uh, When you highlight the ammo, it will show what gun it goes to if you have a gun for it. So that's good. There. And another gun. Up to 30.7. So I can hold another 19. <sighs> I have to be careful with 
everything just because the the guns really do break really fast. I don't like the background sound in this area of the game either. I like how clear the game looks when looking up towards the sky right there. So far, none of the graphics in this game are impressing me. I was a bit impressed with the starting area of the second game. I was expecting this one to be looking a lot better. But I'm not really seeing a whole lot of improvements. Oh, and this time I didn't have to adjust the quick save hotkey. Uh, default is F5 in this one, so they finally caught on to the the normal stuff. I forgot the word for it. It's, someone just left a random ass fire there. Okay. Yeah, so I really have no idea what I'm doing in this game yet. Because all I did was look around a bit. And I know the invisible jerk was somewhere around that. Uh, I think it was... Or it was that. It's one of those areas where there were people at. is near where the thing attacked me. And you can't see its outline like in the previous games. It goes completely invisible. Oh, there's some mutants over there. I'm also going to have to get used to bullet fall again in this game. Because bullet fall is pretty extreme. Just in case one of those invisible jerks attacks. I'll, that. I also noticed you can run longer, at least um, with a low weight. I don't know if that'll change later on. But if you're not near your limit, like right at the start, then you should be fine. And this spot actually looks similar to an area from the second game. Pretty damn sure I was over in this spot. Because I am in a swampy area. The second, the second game had you start in a swamp. But yeah, this game does take place after the first one. And the second one took place before this uh, first. Or the second one, yeah. First takes place before this one. Second takes place before the second. Or no, before the whatever. First. Getting shit all mixed up. Probably made it more confusing. Story order. Second, first, third. There. That fixes it because I was fucking it up. Confusing everyone. I don't want to play a game where I get to use a controller on my next uh, stream stuff. The next game I stream, I mean. I guess this was a bus stop at one point. Yeah. Even with only 19 remaining that I can carry. Running is lasting a pretty decent amount of time. Some reason... Oh yeah, I forgot. Run is also a toggle. I have to press shift again and I don't have to hold it. Uh, press it to activate. Press it to deactivate. I'm not even there yet. What the fuck? I, I don't know how to get up there. That looks too steep. Yeah, that is too steep. Because I have to run around and find a spot to get up. I forgot what I was going to say before I got distracted by that. 
bunch of anomalies over there. Oh, shit. That's radiation or something. Screen was changing. Uh, I guess I don't want to go over there. That'd be bad. Oh, yeah. Controller stuff. Not sure what one I'm going to play after I finish this game. I just wanted to be something with a controller. I got a few games that are an option. Uh, maybe Red Faction Guerrilla. The remastered version. Since I have the original, I gave the remastered for free. What the hell? What the fuck do I get up there? I'm guessing the circle was the death spot I was at, where the screen started changing, so I could go around that, probably. Oh, my dude was fucking with his gun. God damn it, don't do that. Dumbass. Looking at shit. It looks like there's an invisible wall here, so I can't... Oh, great, I'm about to die. Because, yeah. I don't know where any shelter is. I can't open a gate. I'm so dead. Already! Oh, there's people in here. Or a person. Oh, come on. My stamina got too low and it wouldn't- or it didn't hit zero. Oh, maybe I will survive. I'm inside a place. I'm gonna wait for it to pass. Yeah, the flashlight in this game is a hell of a lot better than in previous ones. Much brighter. Uh, I'm not sure if I have to go... I'm pretty sure it's on the hill. Yeah, it's a crash site, so it's gotta be above. I don't know how to get there, and I can't go look now because there's a goddamn storm. Turn back, stalker. This place ain't for you. Oops. Stalker, off with you while you still got legs. Okay. Um. I wasn't expecting that. Just go up and see a fucking room full of guys. Like, holy shit. Okay, then. <laughs> the storm's lasting too damn long. Not sure if this cover is even helping me. Can't exactly get any higher in this area. You can see some grain effect out there. This is the best cover I've got! I guess I could go down the hole. Now I have to sit and wait. I don't know if this is a random event or if it's scripted to be uh, this soon into the game. All my testing was short amounts of gameplay. I didn't do this much. I was basically go in, shoot, make some noise, and speak Stalkers, as I'm making noise. The emission is finally over. Okay. I hope you're all in one piece. I'm not trying to cause trouble. Oh, son of a bitch. They're all enemies. 
They don't see me. They're fighting someone, I think. Or they think I'm up there, I don't know. I can't move, though. Oh, hey, I can see the wall I'm against now. Yeah, if I move, I'll make noise and they might shoot me. And there's way too many of them. I don't want an instant death. I just gotta hope they don't come to this corner and touch me. Because then they'll know I'm here. If they all go up, I might be able to sneak out. But I think the reason they were all up there hiding was because of that storm. Oh crap, one of them's right there. Oh, never mind, that's a thing. Oh, come on! What did I do? That's bullshit, man. What the crap? I wasn't trying to cause anything or start anything. Assholes. Loot this guy first. That guy's dead. What? Getting shot at from somewhere back there. Oh, up top. Didn't know they could see me up there. sucks. If I try and leave, they'll chase me. So I have to kill them. Is my armor busted? No. I don't know what the armor busted thing symbol is about then. Unless it means they use an armor piercing rounds. Take them one at a time. I should be fine. I still have to be careful, though. Hey, okay, there's stuff I could loot there. Looks like there might be bread. So there's at least some food. know how many of them there were. This one doesn't seem to tell you numbers. Oh wait, yeah it does. It says three. So there's still three guys somewhere. Shit. Healing in this game is slow. I have to be careful of that. Takes time. Kind of like a stim pack in the Fallout series. Those aren't instant either. At least, um, Fallout 4, it's not instant. I don't remember about Fallout 3. I don't think it's instant in Fallout 3 either. I never played any other Fallout games other than. I like the previous ones. Before Fallout 3, I never played those. Played Fallout New Vegas, didn't really care for it. I like, gotta give it another shot to see if I still don't like it, but I always thought it sucked. Mostly because it was incredibly fucking unbalanced. Okay, this area is cleared out. Um. <sighs> what the hell is this? Hercules! Androgen. Artificial. 
steroid, the chemical composition of which resembles testosterone often used by stalkers during long raids to reduce muscle fatigue. Significantly increases carrying capacity. Oh, hey. Whatever. Effects are long lasting. What about negative effects? Whatever. Silenced pistol? Oh, I'm going to take it. How much weight? I'm at 37.6. Oh, whoops. Where's that silenced? There. Yeah, it's silenced. It's pressed, whatever. And this one's better condition. Oh, wait. Put that one in. Like that. Still have to be careful of my weight. Quick save. <coughs> Hoping that wasn't a really shitty spot to save at, though. That's a different gun. 47-1 on weight. I don't think I need any more of this ammo. No, I don't. Yeah, got 148 of it. Uh, okay. I don't know what happened to the rest of that food. It may have given it to me, but I'm not sure. Because I only pressed that once to pick up the bread. Oops, I didn't mean to pick up the gun. Gotta put one of them back. This one. It's ammo. Okay, do another quick save. Apparently the emission storm is over. And it's bitching it. Oh, I'm over the weight limit now. So, let's drop this one. There. Now I'm not over the limit. Should have looked for a weight mod in this game, or for this game, I mean. I don't know. Maybe I'll uh, look for that later. Because I really don't care about weight limits in games. I hate them. Okay. Uh, even though I'm practically at the limit. Uh, yeah, so I gotta somehow get up there. Looks like I can't get up there from the left side. I don't know if that's the cave or what. I can't see it. Looks like that could be a cave. If there's a cave that leads there, that's uh, this spot here that I'm seeing. If that's a cave, it could be that the entrance was in there. The area I just cleared out. But I don't think that's what that leads to. I have to look around a bit more. I have a gun that has a spell. That we're in better zoom? No? We start hitting hotkeys. Binoculars, that works. So there's dead guys up there. It doesn't look like that's a cave. I'm not sure. Looks like it's just a wall. But it could be a hole in the ground right in the middle there. Get up a little higher. Mm, kind of hard to get any higher than I am, so I don't think it's going to help. 
Yeah, I don't think crawling through the uh, underground is going to get me there. I'm going to try going around. <clears throat> and hope there's not another damn storm. around that area. It's apparently... Okay, so there is one up there, but there's also one over here. So the one I was looking at was right here. The circus anomaly, apparently. The neutral guy over there. What the hell's he doing? Oh, this ought to be interesting. I think his AI is broken. Fuck. Wait, what? What the hell? I don't know what the hell's going on. Holy shit, I thought he was gonna die. I thought one of those things was gonna hit him and ex bleh, explode. But he went down and started shooting at something. And it blew up. Now he's just walking away. Like it's nothing. I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to get up to that area. He's still neutral? Yeah, he's still neutral. Get up here, jump up, go full on Elder Scrolls stuff, jump up the fucking wall, slide down a tiny bit, jump up more. God damn it, I can't. I think it wants me to go all the fucking way around. Or find some weird ass way that I can't figure out how to get over there. Oh hey, there's a mutant. Come on. Okay, I'm on the other side of that little wall. Maybe I can get over there now. Maybe I don't have to climb on top of it. No, this looks like it's going to be a dead end. Yeah, this is a fucking dead end. What the hell? So it wants me to... investigate it, and I can't even fucking get to it. That doesn't make sense. And obviously, you can't travel in the blurred areas. The low-res crap down there. How the fuck do I get there? Because I, I tried going around here and I couldn't get there. And there's no path here. This is just another little wall. Wall goes around. Like that. Down to there. I can't get into this section. I don't know why. I mean, I guess it is pointing for me to go to a different area. I don't know why the marker would still be on the map if it didn't want me to go there. I'll give it one more quick look, then I'll just say screw it and continue to the next spot. Because it is possible the game's just being a retard to me. I think there's a guy right here. Yeah, neutral. I'm listening. Search body. He killed some people. Oh, hey. Shotgun better? Accuracy is low. This is higher accuracy. What about handling? I don't know. Damage? 
mag size. This one's better. You forgetting these drinks are for energy, right? Yeah. Which body? Oh. Okay. Guess that guy hey, took the bro. shit from it. Quick save. Oh, I'm overweighted. How am I overweighted? Oh, probably from all the damn shotgun shells. Uh, then let me put the shotgun there. Use the shotgun instead of the pistol. Gotta be a way over that. That damn spot I have to go to. Well, at least this game, when you're over weight limit, walking doesn't reduce your energy. I guess it just reduces faster when you run. Yeah, a hell of a lot faster when you run. Okay. But you can still walk. Standing still or still restores it faster, though. Uh, previous games, if you are over the limit, uh, if I remember right, your energy would reduce just by walking. Jeez. Thing's dead, but it's still standing. <laughs> God damn it. You're supposed to fall. And you can't loot anim or animal monster things anymore. I don't want to melee it, but I don't think there's a melee key. Yeah, it looks like I can't get over there, which is stupid. Just screw it. I'm just going towards the next one. Much weight. 52.8. Yeah, this shotgun ammo is a lot. It's crazy. Expecting it to do a lot more damage, too. Because that stupid thing took a lot of shots. I think previous games it would have only taken one or two. Took half the damn clip. Or half the. It's not technically a clip. Half the load or whatever the fuck. Maybe it is a clip. I don't fucking know how a shotgun works. Or how it's loaded or anything. I know it's obviously about the same as other guns. Take a little pin, hit the center of a point. Ignite or uh, create pressure that ignites stuff. Shoot shit as projectiles. It's basic. Why does it feel like I'm going backwards? Like the way I came from. I'm kind of getting tired of those birds. It's like they're following me. Go away. A lot of ambient noise in this game. You can hear dogs barking, the birds making noise. Previous games didn't have that much uh, ambient noise. Oh wait, was that a ripple? Oh hey, I didn't notice that. The game has water ripples. When you walk in it. The surface effect reminds me of Morrowind. It's, it's almost identical. Just higher resolution. Like, if you go over and you start a uh, game of Morrowind and you look at the water right near the starting area, it, it looks very similar. This, what is that? Dead people? Oh, hey, dead people. Cool. Search. Probably never gonna end up using damn grenades. Don't know why I keep taking them. I don't think I need pistol ammo. 918? 
No. A big shotgun only holds two. I'd rather have one that doesn't only hold two. Okay. Ground and quick save. And where is one of those? Oh, yep, yeah, you can get drunk. That's the first time I tried alcohol in one of these games. I tried it because I didn't want to waste one of my two anti-radiation drugs. Oh shit. Actually fucks with the screen too. Thought it was just gonna mess with the wobble, but apparently does more than that. Got some grain. I hope I'm not near radiation. I don't hear any clicking. Maybe it's just the alcohol. Although the grain went away. I think it was just the alcohol. A lot of people in this area. I think they're all friendly. Looks like they're all blue and yellow, so probably friendlies. This is the area I went to when I noticed the invisible jerk. I went away from this area and then the invisible jerk was attacking me. Wasn't even on the damn ship yet, jerk. My anti-aliasing turn on and doesn't feel like I have it turned on. <laughs> Goddamn greats. I guess it is only X4. I think it was anti-aliasing. Could be anisotropy. I'm pretty sure it was anti-aliasing and turned on. Uh, open door. Good job, door smacking me in the face. Listen up. Sultan wants to see you. Good for you. I don't give a shit. I'm only doing main Hello. stuff. Hello. Can I steal your bread? What happens if I steal your bread? I stole your bread. Tell me about yourself. La la la. Anomalies. Gas. Heat. Electrical. Gravitational. Moving. Okay. Emissions. Where can you lead me? I don't want to be let. Wait. What? No, I don't want to be led anywhere yet. I don't think it wants me to, does it? It's not letting me check the damn thing. Because there's a fucking thing there. Uh, investigate the crash site. Swamp. God damn it, there was one over there too. I was right near that and I didn't go there. God damn it. I have side missions disabled because I don't care about that. Important objects. What the hell? No. Side mission disable. Okay, so important objects are like traders and shit and technician. Mission log. How do I activate the damn thing? This has got a thing you can highlight, but it's not. Talk to stalkers. Good job, game. You're not helping. And that covers up half the fucking map. Can't zoom out more. God damn it. Can I move this? I can't. I can't. Resize or move the damn thing. Oh, wait. Did that? Okay, so it does mark it. Kinda. Now I'm fucking confused again. 
Now there's only one thing being highlighted. Shit. Okay, mark that one. Where is it? Way the hell down there. I don't want to play this game anymore. It's still pointing here. Good hunting. Right? All the... This game's a bit of a mess. Can't mark the fucking thing. It doesn't let me center on mission or center map on mission. It doesn't work. I click it and it doesn't do shit. Like at all. It doesn't I can click these, but that doesn't do anything. I don't know what the hell this is about. Getting to the plateau. Is this supposed to be the plateau? Because I don't know what it wants me to do with this guy. Oh, now that guy's not marked. What the hell? God damn it. I don't know what the fuck's going on. What if I click that? Okay, if I click that, then that guy's marked. What the shit? Why is it? But if I click that one, it's not. Which one's one? Let's highlight one. What the fuck? Fuck off, game. That one's one. It wants me to go down there first. So, I guess I go down there first. Let's do a regular save. Over beginning the game. Wait, does it rename it? It didn't rename it. God damn it. There. At least the save is a lot faster in this game. And delete that. And there. It apparently doesn't like caps. Because I'm pretty sure I had a capital H. Whatever. Oops. How much to do station? Fortunately, it's a long way from here. It's 3,000. Oh, fuck you. Was it really going to be that much if I spoke to him the first freaking time? Son of a bitch. So speaking of him is pointless. God damn it. 2,500. I could probably sell stuff, but if it's like previous games, you can't sell guns. What's this? Maybe I can sell that. It's worth twenty five hundred. Listen up. Nope, not you. Where's shopkeeper? Hello, big guy. No trade. How to make useless traders? God damn it! Out over here. Are they up? Game doesn't tell me when someone's up. 
Previous games did that. I'll turn off my flashlight. Son of a bitch. Oh, at least he buys a gun. Wait, why do you buy this so one but not this? What? That doesn't make any goddamn sense. What the hell is this? That's supposed to be a helmet. It looks like a pair of goggles. Gas mask. <laughs> They're a trench. <laughs> Shit. Sunrise bodysuit. What the hell? Oh, a scope. I have a lot of grenades. I'm not going to pay for the travel over to that place. It's all grenades, though. Okay. At least they made it so it was infinite money, so I don't have to worry about that. I don't remember if previous games did that. I think there were a few guys that had them, or had infinite. I don't know if everyone has infinite for trading. Though, so, because these are the first two guys I've checked. So that's you. Where's the other guy? Can I go in here? No, that doesn't open. Go back here. Howdy. You're not. You're. You're. You're not the. You're um the trader. Maybe they're up here. Yeah, they're right here. Hello. You're not the trader. Never mind. Want to place nor? Oh, you are the trader. Never mind. Fuck them. Hey, bro. <laughs> Run down a couple stairs. Get out of breath. God damn it. Three and a half kilograms over weight limit. Change the damn quest. Okay, where is two? Two is right there. The marked. Whoops. Yeah, okay. So it is marking stuff. Quick save. Okay, it doesn't let you take your weapon out inside that area. Oh hey, there's a water, I think. Yeah. I don't think the previous games had that. There's a little wetness, water effect on the gun when it's raining. Kind of neat. This guy's a neutral. Run away. Who's are you standing near? Oh, there's two guys here. Never mind. I thought he was the star, but that guy's the star. I don't know what the hell the difference is between them. This Start guy looks... Talking, buddy. Crap. You're fighting something, so I'm leaving. Screw that. I'm not getting involved. <laughs> Waste of ammo. Waste of supplies. Friendlies over here. Neutrals, whatever. Jesus, I thought that stupid tree thing was an enemy. A weird freaking enemy. I really hope I don't have to run through a hailstorm of bullets uh, when I leave the swamp. And I actually do hope I end up leaving the swamp. I got a feeling it's going to be a, a little too similar to the second game. Up are they? Oh, they're fre or neutral. Oh, maybe I can get it. No, that looks like it might be too steep. Just walk over this way. Should be able to get up. Got that away so I don't piss them off. I don't know if I can, but just in case.
What the fuck? Seems like a good area to have my gun out. This actually looks like something you would expect to see on a Fallout game. Or a Borderlands game. Because there's an explosive... Th well, something that could be explosive if it was in a Borderlands game, but the, the area kind of looks all fucked up like it would be in a Fallout game. Sort of. Maybe not with this big-ass hole here, but... Just worn up or torn apart like that. And then there's enemies over there. I deal with them. There we go. They're dead. They got one hit on me. Nice if he could loot them, get shit to sell, but you couldn't really sell stuff from them all that easily in the previous games, so... Oh well. Unless only some of them rarely drop something? I don't know. It feels like I don't have the sensitivity on my mouse all the way up. Or, um... In-game sensitivity, I mean. Turned up high enough or something, because I feel like I'm moving a little bit too... Far. To do little shit. I pick my mouse up a lot, reposition it, because I don't do big ass arm movements like that. I just do wrist movements. I don't like the big fucking arm movement shit. When I reduce the sensitivity like this, then I can do bigger arm movements, because that was the same movement as this. Then I can reduce it even more like that. Yeah, that's radiation, dumbass. What are you doing? Oh, I'm right inside a circle. Wait, what? Healing state. Oh, okay. So the circle isn't necessarily a bad area. It's an area where there's something at that's uh, worth checking out. I thought it was marking anomalies or something. I forgot I had the light on. God damn it. At least the game isn't crashed. <laughs> and I quick save just in case it crashes. Someone sees me somewhere. Or something sees me. But the green is on the top left. I don't fucking know where something sees me at. Oh, now it doesn't see me, so... Oh, now it does, now it doesn't. I don't know where the fuck it was. Didn't get attacked, so it must have been a neutral. If it was an enemy, I probably would have been attacked. If there is another stalker game made, I really fucking hope... What the hell? I think that's an anomaly. Uh, yeah, if there's a, another stalker game, I really fucking hope they don't have any of the same issues. I hope it's easy to capture with OBS. I hope it doesn't have any issues with starting up. I hope it doesn't have any crashing problems. What the shit? I hope they don't take your shit like they did in the second fucking game. What the hell is going on? I'm confused. I don't know what the hell that was. Something saw me. I hope it wasn't some psychic shit. Some psychic shit. Something sees me. Screen goes blue. Right? Yep. Sees me blue. God damn it. I don't know where. Some more over there, maybe? What the hell? No, it's something over there. Because there's floating shit in there.
Maybe it's just the anomaly. That'd be weird. I wonder if I shoot it. Well, nothing happens if I shoot the anomaly. But pistol, something more accurate. Ah. Oops. So that's interesting. Oh yeah, didn't you have yeah, a knife. Oh hey, there's two attacks. Slash and a stab. Interesting. What the hell? Ow. I was trying to break that thing open and then it disappeared because I wasn't paying attention. Now I'm getting hit by stuff. Something here is being an asshole to me. Crap. Examine helicopter. Let me look at the guy first. Come on. Oh, come on. Broken shit gonna get thrown at me too. That sucks. I was hoping if it would all break, it would stop flying towards me. Oh crap. Heal. Examine. I'm assuming the something's crew okay. died in midair and the helicopter simply crashed because there was nobody there to fly it. The onboard computer was a little luckier. I wonder if there's anything useful here. Ah, there's something. A map of the area. Oh, I thought he meant the anomaly. I was like, wait, you can do something with those? Come in handy. That is some really shitty looking guns. <laughs> Holy crap, it looks like the old, um... The old Medal of Honor World War II games. Graphics from that. It's so, it's so shitty. Holy crap. I kind of miss those old games though. Probably remembering it better than they were. Crap. Bad anomaly. Stay away. There. Ah, no, there's radiation. Son of a bitch. There we go. I'm out of the radiation. Afford to eat some food. Tourists breakfast can. Next location is three. <sighs> Which direction? That way. Quick save. So there was nothing there, something saw me, and I think it was the anomaly that saw me. And I think it was the anomaly that was throwing shit around, so that was kind of odd. Still not really all that impressed with the graphics of this game yet. Maybe it'll change later, but so far, I don't know. Although it could just be because I was just playing Dying Light on my last stream, so who knows. I still gotta go through that game and get the those joke weapons. Just for the hell of it. I've been playing a little too much Prison Architect, doing shit on that, breaking it. Showing how it kind of sucks ass. <laughs> Build a prison to a certain size, you can't get any goddamn money. Unless you do forestry, then you can't export shit fast enough to really earn a whole lot of money. Unless you turn on fast deliveries, then you still can't really get a whole lot of money worth a damn. <laughs> Fucking takes forever. <laughs> so I went and enabled infinite money, or unlimited money, whatever, on that game. And uh, created a prison that supports almost a thousand prisoners. 
<laughs> I can't intake them fast enough to fill the fucking thing. <laughs> so that's another area where it's also broken. But it's also broken in that it now also runs at like 10 frames a second. Because it's so goddamn big. And I have to use a fucking mod to add more fucking roads so I can try and get um, exports done better so I can get more money. Oh, this is that one I couldn't figure out how to get to. God damn it. Where's one? One's way that all down here, isn't it? I can screw off, damn it. Being a jackass and being like, no, you can't zoom or you can't move there because you zoomed in, bitch. <laughs> like, really? Come on. Being a prick. Yeah, I'll go to that one in the swamp first. I, I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to get to this. Like, at all. I just, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just, I really, I don't see a path. It'd be weird for a tunnel from a waste processing station. Water treatment plant, I'm guessing, whatever. Since it says waste processing. It would be weird for a, a place like that to go and have a tunnel goes down We'll need to come up, and I'm I'm pretty sure this is not a cave. It's just a spot on the fucking hill. And I just can't figure out how to get up here. Cause that looks like, oh, you can just walk right up here or something. Woo. But you can't get up anywhere. Give it one more look since I'm already here, but I really don't think I'll be able to get up there. Oh shit. No, bad dog. Thing. Pseudo dog. That's it. Jackass. Kinda busy trying to adjust my fucking glasses and you all growling at me. Easy. If I could just jump onto that one little spot, maybe I could get up. Because <laughs> it doesn't seem like there's an invisible wall, it's just a fucking slope. Damn it. I still fall down. Oh, come on. don't get why I can't get up there. Like, what kind of an asshole decided, let's just make it so you can't figure out how the fuck to get to this one spot in the goddamn quest at the start of the fucking game when you're trying to learn everything. God damn it. There's just no fucking way to get up there. Bit retarded. Yeah, it pisses me off. Oops. It 
so I'll have to run my ass over there. Be nice if the fast traveling didn't cost money in this game. It's kind of stupid that it does. Seems like a, a way for them to pad the fucking thing. They did that in the second one, too, and I was hoping they wouldn't make you pay for fast travel in this one. It looks like they didn't learn from it. Actually, if you look at all the issues throughout, they don't really learn a whole lot throughout this series. A little bit annoying. Because <sighs> I like the general gameplay and what you have to do in the games, but... There's a lot of issues with these games that I don't like dealing with. It's going to make a kind of a hard choice if I ever decide to play them again. Especially since I can't find mods for them to limit the, the dumb fucking weight limit system. That's the biggest killer of games for me. Because then I really have to pay attention to inventory and shit. I can't watch stuff and just not pay attention. I have to really focus on the fucking game to make sure I'm being strategic properly. And ignore whatever the hell I'm watching. When I'm streaming, it's a lot less difficult to get bored, or uh, a lot easier to not be bored, I mean. Because uh, then I have to do talking, I have to look over the chat just in case someone happens to pop in. Crap, go over the other road. But when I'm not streaming, it's really easy for me to get bored while playing a game. So I like to watch stuff. Fucking travel. I actually do kind of like how much ambient noise is in this game, at least. Previous games was really silent. Rarely ever heard anything. This one's got rain, crickets, birds, a bunch of shit going on. Don't know if I care for the music, though. And I guess it's trying to set a tone, like, oh, you're in some dangerous zone. But, I don't know. I just don't really care for it. just gets kind of old after a while. Because it pretty much sounds the same, like, oh, it's the same droning, oh, do, doom, doom. This seems like a dangerous area. But I feel I'm gonna get attacked. And for some reason there's some green shit coming off the water. So this water might be bad to walk in. And there's some weird sound going on now. I don't know where the fuck it's coming from. I think it's from everywhere, I don't know. Oh shit, there's radiation. Is that marked? No, it's not marked, but I can go around. YouTube needs to make it so you can have um, surround sound on videos. I don't know if Twitch allows surround sound or not, but I'd like to use some surround sound. 
I have a fucking 5.1 surround sound setup on my computer, but I haven't been using it that way because fucking YouTube and Twitch. I'd like to use it. I've just been using the stereo with four speakers. Sounds good that way, but I could also emulate that effect by running stereo audio through all of it. What is that? There's some bright green shit going on over there. Oh, hey, it happened. Oh, yeah. It happens. I got a feeling this area is bad. Wait a minute. Seven, six. Any art of or er, anomalies? Wait, what? Yeah, that is an anomaly. Probably what the sound's coming from. Ow. Want to get out of the damn swamp. All the electronics inside burned out. Even the power cable sheaths melted. Really? It took that long to load that little bit? That sucks. <laughs> that really sucks. Okay, now I want to get out of this damn swamp. Without stepping in that radiation spot that's right in front of me. Somewhere. God damn it, I walked through one. Those anomalies are really fucking hard to see. Anomalies in pre- the yeah, anomalies, not anomalies. Anomalies in previous games are easier to see. It's a little lame that that was difficult. Where is five? When center on it doesn't work. Oh god damn it! I'm not done with the spot. Wait, is that right in front of me? Oh, son of a bitch. Try and fucking avoid it. I know it's right around there and still walk right through it. Ground looks weird. Kind of looks like that crater with the fire flying around it. Oh, hey. What's this? Antidote? Now we're on a down some good stuff. I don't know what the fuck it is. Drug is used to inject a range of antibiotics and neuralize natural poisons. Better silenced pistol. Neat. Um. Put this in there. And I don't need the ammo. Darkness and all these freaking sounds are creepy. Like, really. Especially with shit like that happening. I'm not sure if there's an anomaly flying around or if there's some invisible jerk running through the water. I can't open this one for some reason, so it's only that one can be opened. Apparently not done with this little area though, so god damn it. That was an accident. At least the water doesn't seem to be there's radiation out there. I can't go that far. 
I have to check the other side. Radiation here too. What the shit? How the fuck do you figure out what the fuck happened? Like, if you want to figure out, oh, how did the electrical stuff fuck up? Then you would think, oh, well, I don't know. Maybe let's, I don't know, stay and look around the thing that had the electrical fuck up. Is that not what I have to do? Apparently not, because I'm getting irradiated like crazy here. And it's not letting me do anything. What the hell? And it doesn't tell me where to go. This just says swamp like no shit. It doesn't let me center on it. I think these are extra things. Side quests. Even though I said no to the side quests being shown, but I guess it still shows in current missions. Um, I have no fucking clue where I'm supposed to go for the rest of this one. I mean, I guess maybe here? Fuck it, I'll look around at something else. Because I don't know where the fuck to go for the, the Stingray 5. This might end up being the only stream I do of this game. Because I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. There is a hell of a lot less... Oh, that's the one I can't get to. The hell of a lot less guidance in this game than in the previous ones. Like, it really wants you to explore fucking everywhere. And it's not so good. Like here, I gotta figure, I think I have to go all the fucking way around that because I can't open that fence. Uh, although I'm not even sure if that'll be an area transfer. <gasps> Maybe down here's got an area transfer? It's got a road. And there's a bridge there, though. Maybe not. I don't know. I guess I'll... run over to this area. But I'll mark that so I know where it is I'm trying to get to before I can continue around to the other one and it is dark as fuck. Oh jeez. I just say I don't give a fuck this time about trying to avoid them and I accidentally avoid them. There was an anomaly near that. Every other time I walk through there I ended up hitting the damn anomaly. Uh, probably a dumb idea but... That radiation thing was bugging me. I'm really gonna stop walking through bushes. Forgetting sound matters in this game. Shit. Giant piggy, go away. Oh good, dead. Two shots, nice. Oh crap, there's another! Almost out of shotgun ammo that I can switch to, yeah, switch to a different game. Don't know why I keep fucking up everything I say. It was a walk through another damn, but what the hell? 
fucking fence. I gotta go around. God damn it. Some lights over there. Trying to avoid going to that. Because running around in the dark is kind of creepy. Because I can't see anything. And I know there's monsters. <laughs> so, running around in the dark with monsters and you can't see, it's like, oh, let's, um, you know, not do that. That's why I kept sleeping through the night on dying light, making a day. How long have I even been streaming? Jeez, it's already been an hour and a half and I haven't done shit. This is the weakest intro to any of the Stalker games. Yeah, it kind of sucks. I don't really think I like this one. Even the other ones, even with their issues, I still liked those ones, but so far I don't really like this one. It takes too much damn time to do anything, and I can't fucking figure out what I'm supposed to do for at least two of them. Uh, two of the things I have to do, I mean. The flashlight isn't worthless, at least, but that's really about all. <sighs> kind of a shame. Hoping this one is going to be better. Where am I? Okay, I'm almost there. That's that fire in the crater. I think. Yeah. Two dead guys down there now. Probably one of them was the idiot who walked down into it. Uh, one of the dots could have been uh, the thing he blew up down there. I don't know. some light over there. A guy? Oh yeah, it's a neutral guy. Okay. <laughs> that was a slow response. <laughs> Walk up, put my gun away. Oh, he's repeating it. That's interesting. What the hell? I guess there's some enemy nearby that he's aware of that I'm not. He's walking around in circles or something, probably. Triggering his animation. Or he's just bugged. Probably just bugged. Hello. Oh yeah, let me check. You have infinite? No, you don't. I'm a grenade. Well, hello. Uh, wow, that's grenade souls for a lot to him. Well, guess it's worth picking up grenades in this game. 
Your mouth is weird. It's moving, and it's got a line even though you're wearing a mask, and it probably shouldn't be in your mouth. You're kind of chewing on your mask a little bit there. I'm all ears, buddy. I could just get up to that. But I can't. Because there's an invisible wall here. Otherwise I could probably climb up. Like this doesn't look like it should be steep enough for me to slide down it. Pisses me off. Let me switch over to the other one now. Mission log. Number one. I gotta go over this way. Or around this fucking thing. Try going down in that hole first. See if maybe that does lead to where I need to go. Even though it might be monsters or something down there. At least cleared this place of... Uh, the the bandit guys who are here. I can remember where the damn entrance is. Dark. I haven't been here then it's dark. Those are up over here though. Hopefully it's still cleared. Wait, wasn't the door down here? Yeah. There's the door. Okay, drop down. Huh. Nice picture of bricks. <laughs> it's really all it is. It's just a picture of some rubble and bricks. <laughs> God damn it. It actually looks like a really nice picture of them. Finding it hard to criticize that because it looks like shit, but it looks good because it's a nice picture. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, so now it's gonna have wolves. Good job, game. God damn it. What the hell? I'm still in the same area. God damn it. Yeah. That just goes to here. This area was useless to me. I'm gonna go back. I really hope there aren't any wolves in this game. Hey, wait. There's a climbing spot here. That goes outside. Hm. Oh, this one. Ooh, can I get on the roof of here? Maybe then I can look over. Hmm, did I search them? I've missed one to search. Take the grenades. There we go. Which weight at? 57.5. Seven and a half over. Damn. I was hoping I'd be able to get out or up higher on top of the roof of this place. Oh, hey. Uh, shit disappeared again. I guess I picked everything up because I'm at 62.3 and I can't move. I guess I should drop some guns. <laughs> when the hell did I get this? That's interesting. It even has a scope. Or something on it. Like a laptop for something? Okay. 
can't drop that. It doesn't right click, so that's nice. There's three and a half kilograms I can't get rid of. God, motherfucking damn it. It's like I can't get rid of those, and it has weight. So there's shit you can pick up in this game that you cannot put back down after you pick it up. Okay, let's see what happens if I do this. Up to 70 now. <laughs> so I can move for 300 seconds. Yeah. Because steroids totally have no side effects that are bad. In La La Land. Oh, I can go around here. Although it's dark out, so I don't know what... Oh, never mind. This is out. Never mind. Stupid me. Whatever. Let's just go the way I was going. And give up on that other one. Quick save. Probably a dumb idea to quick save. Since I got a computer I can't throw down. So far, seems like it might be the only damn stream of this game I do. Fucking fence. Can I go around the fence? Or is there just gonna be a fucking wall? Oh, hey, there's a hole in the wall. Ten, twenty times eleven. Oh boy. Okay, let's go this way. Sounds like I'm getting closer to the wolves. Doesn't sound like it came from that way. Oh, come on. Come on, really? God damn it. It requires you fast travel. It... I'm not going to stream this game anymore after this one. This is the only stream I'm doing. I, I just... I don't even give a fuck. I can't figure out how to get to one of the spots. I can't get to the other spots. I don't know what the fuck to do with one of them. I mean, I guess I might have enough money now. Yeah, I got 4,030, so I could fast travel to some random ass location I don't know where it is <sighs> that's about all I can do though so let's go over there wherever the hell it is that I, I, don't, I don't even know, know was it it was right here uh, and I can't create custom waypoints I gotta figure out how the fuck to get over there from where I'm at I gotta head north, and there's no north. Oh, I guess. Is that way north? Is blue north? Yeah, blue is north. Unless blue is actually south, and the map is upside down. For some reason. Guess I'll have to head north. Or in the blue direction. Let's just call it that. Blue direction. Opposite of the red direction.
Watch me walk into something that kills me. God damn it. Or watch the steroids wear off. <laughs> Whichever. <laughs> God damn it. Um. Now, if I could fucking compare these easier, what if I do that? Our accuracy, lower handling, our damage, higher rate of fire. Okay. Unload. Drop. Where's my shotgun there? Am I still over? Really? How much do these weigh? How much weigh down was I? Is this again? Oh yeah, antidote. Well oh, shit. I could ask this stupid question and be like, what's weighing me down? But it's kind of obvious what's weighing me down. I have too many goddamn weapons. Unload. Hmm. Now it's away. Drop. Still weighed down. I don't want to drop that. I want to keep the silenced. Wait, what do you use? Use that. Really? Swap. Nothing else uses this ammo. So I'll drop this silenced. Oh, hey, detach. Drop. Then I'll drop this. And can I attach the silencer? Apparently I can. What should I attach? Maybe to this. It's got a scope. I don't want to detach scope. I want to... Whoops. Detach silence. What the hell? I have two. What? Oh, come on. How do I attach it? I accidentally attached it once. I don't know what the fuck I did. Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't even know how to attach it. Because it shows the ones it can attach to. I accidentally attached it to that, then I detached it, and now I can't reattach it to anything else, and probably because there's two of them. doesn't work. We try every goddamn square. This game is so fucking stupid. Detach scope. Then touch. No. Can I reattach scope? What? What the fuck is going on? It doesn't let you attach... It, it fucking do anything. Drag, you drop. It doesn't work. Drag, you drop. It doesn't work. This game sucks.
Like, this game really sucks. You, you can't... You just, you can't fucking attach it. Maybe... Are you shitting me? Why can't you attach it when it's in your fucking inventory? That's just stupid. Yeah, I'm really disappointed with this one. Like, I am really fucking disappointed. I was just, just playing the first two, but skip this one. I'm, I'm just not enjoying it. Like, at all. This is the weakest start to a game I have probably ever seen. I don't know how they keep making things worse. It's pretty bad. I'm just gonna stop streaming soon. This is stupid. Never streaming this game ever again. I'll just see about finishing it if I ever want to torture myself. Or if I ever get super fucking bored. I'll finish it on my own without streaming it. Because this is stupid. And nighttime is lasting too goddamn long. What the hell? No one wants to run around in the damn dark for 40 fucking minutes. At least I'm almost to where I was trying to get to. Neutral? Yeah, they're neutral. I think this is the place. Where the fuck's the entrance? Down here? It must be the guy who yelled at me last time and saw my gun out. Yeah, here it is. Alright, I'm just gonna save here and end the stream because this is stupid. I'm not ever streaming this game ever again. It's... It is a huge disappointment. Like, I was expecting it to be better because I enjoyed the last two games, but this one... It, it just sucks. Like, it is really bad. I just... That really sucks. Uh, so... Let me move it down somewhere. I don't know why the hell Prison Architect was there. Should have been before Red Out. I haven't played Red Out in a while. Should probably do that again. It takes a lot of trying to get first place on that. It kind of pisses me off after a while. 
Good game though. Uh do that. There. So let's see. There are some options for next time. I want to play a game with a controller. So we can play... I'll, I'll put a poll up on Twitter. Make it last a week. Uh, can start with Castlevania Lord of Shadow. That's the only one of these three I've actually played. That's why I got the other two. is because I liked it. Um, and go through some Red Faction Armageddon, or not Armageddon, Red Faction Gorilla. I don't have Armageddon, never played it yet. I still gotta try Armageddon. Uh, could play Overlord. I think I'm just gonna make it between those three. So Castlevania, Overlord, or Red Faction, because I want to use a controller next time. Just take a break from using keyboard and mouse. Other than that, uh, that's the end of the stream. Uh, I do not suggest Stalker or Call of Pripyat. It, it kind of sucks. I don't know what to do. Maybe if I played through the game once and I knew what the hell I was uh, doing then I could figure out what I was doing a hell of a lot easier, but so far, what I've done, it... I don't know. It, it's just... They fucked it up. Like, they really fucked it up. They seemed to know what they were doing in the first two. They had guidance. One quest at a time. Unless you want to do extra shit. I guess there were some areas where it wasn't really one quest at a time. Um... But you could go to either, any of them in the start of this one, but it's right at the start and it kind of just throws too fucking much at you. And unlike in the others, this one also has part of that fucking quest where it's like, oh, you can't do shit because you can't get to the goddamn thing. It's just up in this little area. Oh, and good luck. You have to use fast travel. And you don't know where the fuck you're going to be fast traveling to because you can't fucking zoom out enough to see the goddamn zone name. So, yeah, they really screwed it up. And it sucks. Rant over. Um, anyone who enjoyed this stream, I don't know how you would. It was really fucking boring. Never streaming this game ever again. Um, thanks for watching. And if you want to watch this on YouTube, thanks for watching. Seriously, I'm never streaming this game ever again. It's going to be sitting all on its lonesome inside its own little playlist. And it's going to look all depressing and sad and be sitting in the corner for the rest of its fucking life. Because it's screwed up. It sucks too much. I'm I'm annoyed whatever see you guys uh later probably next week i don't know just depends on what's going on hopefully next week I, I i'm i'm not sure i've been canceling a lot of streams lately because of current events so whatever see you guys later bye for now